can I say I have come to Rome for one purpose only? Oh, set notes. I have come to Rome for one purpose and one purpose only. That's it, double emphasis. And then he goes to punish us, cowards in fear, blah, 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 blah. And I come in with... Unendurable. My lady? No one in this godforsaken city know how to negotiate. They can't just sit down and talk. Oh, no. They've got to drag it out. What's happened this time? Oh, I've been invited to another event. Ah. Instead of discussing the finer points of international trade, we're going to watch a bunch of bloody actors titting about in some tedious comedy. My sympathy is a, a comedy? Yes. The sister's written a play, and we all have to go and see it, apparently. Instead of trying to overthrow her brother like a normal person, she spends every day on her petty vanity project. You mean the Palatine players? Yes! How do you know that? Oh, I heard someone discussing them in the market. Oh, that makes sense. Because low-rent gossip about tawdry burlesques is exactly the standard of information you've brought me of late. A thousand apologies, my lady. I'll do better. Hmm. Anyway, I'd better get ready to go out tonight and see this damn play. No! What? I mean, you don't have to go. We could say you've got a headache. Hmm. Don't want to look weak. A matter of religious propriety, then. It's a feast day in the Egyptian calendar. Is it? I mean, probably. There's hundreds of them. It could work. And it would be nice to have an evening to myself. I've still got the wheat figures to go over, and Memphis are protesting their tax rate again. I'll send the message immediately. Oh, no. No, I have to go. I'm only just getting somewhere with baby Gaius, and I don't want to insult the whole wretched family. But what... I'll th- see if I can't get some work done while I'm there. Make sure you bring my urgent papers, will you? You want me to bring them? Yes, of course. Who else? But honestly, Charmian, you're so distracted these days. A quiet night at the theatre with me is exactly what you need. Yes, Exactly what I need. No need to thank me, Charmian. It's my treat. Rusty Quill presents Cry Havoc. Ask questions later. Episode 8. Deus Ex Machina. Best seats, Mother. But it's so loud next to the stage. And when they yell, they spit on you. They're wearing masks. You'll be fine. Oh, look. Quintus Metellus is in this one. You liked him in Oedipus. Mm, Didn't care for the second half. Rarely ruined the love story. Right this way, my lady. Caesar. Ah, greetings. Uh, May I introduce my mother, Atia. Mother, Queen Cleopatra. Hello, dear. Hello. So this is the famous theatre of Pompeii, is it? Rome's very own permanent theatre. We're immensely proud of it. Then how come the seats are so uncomfortable? My arse falls asleep before I can half the time. In Egypt, theatre is a sacred thing. At the last pageant at the Temple of Isis, I was attended upon in a golden litter by slaves serving sweetmeats of every kind. Yes, exactly. A little comfort. Not too much to ask. They played the murder of Osiris by set. A hundred dancers in the flickering torchlight of the great temple, accompanied by the wail of flutes. Truly a spectacle unlike any I have ever seen. I think this one's a comedy. Oh, good. A slave is selling figs on the day Julius gets done in and looks so much like him that people think Caesar's come back from the dead. That's the story? We can't have our family making a play like this. Why not? It's sacrilege. Well, we didn't pay for the tickets. What are you complaining for? 
Now go and get me some dates. No, sir. Oh, allow me. Charmian, dates. Oh, yes, absolutely. Be right back. They cost a fortune here, but they remind me of happier times. His father used to eat them off me. No, sir. <laughs> I think I'm going to like sitting here. Almost showtime. For the love of Jove, where's Mia? Here I am. Oh. And now, for the love of Jove, where's Octavia? Oh, thought that might work. I need to speak to you urgently. Why aren't you in costume? Go, but go. You see, I, I can't do that. I know you've taken you it. Idiot, why would I take your wig? I'm playing Julius Caesar. So? He was bald. Mascus, wig. Bacilla, gorgeous. Now be a pair of dears and piss off till the show starts. Never appreciated around here. Because you want more lines. You were right all along. It's going to be a disaster. There, there you are. are. I saw her first. But I have her to... audience is so big and my mom's here and my brother and he's only gonna brought bloody queen sodding Cleopatra. Yes, it's called publicity. But she's so awesome and I'm so shit. I should never have tried. Yes, yes, the stifling constraints of expectation. You're a tortured genius, we know. Beginners in five. Oh, Mia, tell me it will be fine. Um. Oh, God, you hate it too. Why did I ever think that I could be a writer? No, no, I love it. The, the thing I've is... I've just got to snap out of it. I've got to snap out of it. Octavia. It's great. It's marvellous. Five eagles in all the tablets. Octavia. I'm the best thing in culture since that play with the frogs. I can't do the play. What? I can't do it. I... Oh, it's... It's too... I can't explain. I just... Can't. No. Sorry? No. Mia, you're the slave selling figs. Without you, the plot doesn't work. It falls apart. It's in ruins. I'm in ruins. Couldn't you take the role? What? No. No one would mistake me for Bacilla. I'm too tall. It's got to be you. Here, get your mask on. Octavia, I'm sorry. I want to, but I can't. I just can't. It's stage fright. I get it. Any other time I would, but not tonight. Mia, listen. I need you. Please. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, remember we added that bit where you come on as the messenger. It's only two lines, but the scene doesn't make sense without them. You can count on me. I'd have asked Priscilla, only she'd have asked for extra pay. What does that? Nothing. Just don't forget. Oh my god. We're on. Well, Cassius, is our hour come? It is, my dear Brutus, for today is the day we strike a blow for Rome. Indeed. For the tyrant Julius Caesar squats toad-like at the heart of our great republic, and it is time to strike him down. But tell me, do you think we err in this great deed? Never, my Brutus. Time shall show the gods are on our side. Cut your objection, plebeians. For only men as great as Brutus... And Cassius. Oh, yes, yes, and Cassius. Only we may decide the future of Rome. <laughs> oh, my. Horrible man was Cassius. Always hanging around, trying to get a look down my dress. Mother, not in front of the Queen. Where has that girl got to with those dates? Wait here. I must seek relief. This toga's far too tight. <laughs> Quintus, I told you not to ad lib. Relax, they're loving it. But do they get it? I'm trying to hold a mirror up to Rome itself. And I'm trying to get laughs. Oh. Shh. <gasps> Look, your protege's on. I told you, I've returned to Rome for one purpose and one purpose only. To punish us? Ah, oh, they're only figs, mate. Don't buy them if you don't like them. <laughs> She's really good. <laughs> I admit, your girl is killing it. Oh, shush, she's not my girl. Chance will be a fine thing. Right, that's my first scene done. Mia, you're doing amazing. Why are you taking your costume off? Bit hot. Just going to get a drink. No, wait, Mia, come back. Excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, sir, can I see those things? Cheers. Hi, my feet. Enjoy the show. Excuse me. Charlene, you're a date. My lady. What happened? Did you go to Carthage for them or something? There was a queue. Have I missed much? <sighs> Not really. Just a lot of clowns in silly masks. There was a short one who was passably entertaining. Oh, really? But we shouldn't have bothered. The other triumvirs aren't even here. 
It seems that Mark doesn't like theater. And Lepidus? He got lost. So, I may as well do something worthwhile and look at my papers. Where are they? They're in your... Uh-oh. Charmian, the case. I... I... Oh, I've forgotten it. Oh, Charmian, really? This is the absolute... Go and get it! You mean back to the villa? Where else would it be? You clearly don't care about missing the play. <laughs> It'll only take you 20 minutes if you're quick. 20? 20 minutes? I can do that. I've got time. Well, of course you have. I mean... Oh, I'll be back before you know it. Okay, mother. Here are your dates. <laughs> Too late. I've got some now. Your Majesty. Thank you. Got the case with the scrolls. Just have to run to the seats, drop it off, make an excuse, get back into the costume. No one will know. And I'm back. Oh, sorry, can I ask where you're going? I, I need to get back into the theatre. Life and death. Sorry, miss, there's no readmission once the performance has started. What? You can't do this to me. Standard policy, etched in fine print on the back of our tickets. But I'm in the show. Well, now, if that were true, you wouldn't be out here, would you? Listen, if I've timed this right, I've got half a scene before I'm due back on stage. No, wait. You're right, miss. The messenger. I forgot I'm the bloody messenger. Oh. As this sky darkens, ever does my soul, and I disdain the stain of our foul deed. My heart cries out for vengeance against my hand. And now what can be left for Brutus but a dull forever, clapped in leaden chains of ravening Tartarus? Oh. Thank you, thank you. Mm. But soft, a messenger arrives. What news, my boy? A messenger arrives. Methinks I hear the tread upon the step of one who comes to give me needed news. A messenger arrives. Uh, how now, my lord? Tis I, a messenger. You're not the messenger I expected. Well, I'm the messenger you're getting. I see. And what... News have you to bring me, messenger? Uh, chaos in Rome, sir. They say the people cry out for your blood. Heavy word indeed. And Lord Cassius? I too must speak to him. Why, here he... Here, here he comes. Oh. But you're playing Cassius. I know. What do we do? Well, uh, if Cassius is coming, I'll go to greet him. Wait here. I knew I was cursed. I knew I was cursed. Oh, Minerva, save me now. Where the Terra Mater is Mia. I don't know. We've no choice. Get a costume. You're Cassius now. What? I can't do that. We're dying out there. Hurry. My friend Cassius is having trouble getting off his horse. Oh, for the love of... Fine. Where's that costume? Thanks, Priscilla. I owe you one. I thought he was never going to let me in. What were you doing out there anyway? Octavia! Quintus! I'm here! Why is it so quiet? I don't know. Cassius is certainly taking his sweet time. You just can't get the freighters these days. Look! Vasquez has gone on as the messenger instead of you. But he's supposed to be Cassius in this scene. We don't have a Cassius. Oh, yes, we do. Don't you worry, I've got this. And pay me now, will they? Where's that mask? Wait, Priscilla, what about... No, oh, sit! This is turning into nonsense. It'd take a miracle to... Wait. A miracle? It is most unlike Cassius to be quite so late. In fact, I've never known anyone to be this late. Indeed. Later than a... Caesar. One wonders whether Cassius is ever going to put us out of our misery. My, My dear friend Brutus, Brutus I bring bell news. 
Cassius? Yes, I am Cassius. Then who's this? Also Cassius. I see. Some trickery is afoot here. The gods are displeased. If it helps, I too have known what it is to be Cassius. No, that doesn't help. Gaius. Yes, Mother? I'm not sure I'm following this. No. I've read more books that are clearer and have more plot. Perhaps it's meant to be modern. Who knows? Are they like this back in Egypt? No. Our plays tend to work. Oh, hang on. Look. Something's happening. What's that? With look, it's the ending. I, in the name of Tartarus, is the crane coming down. It's too early. Nothing's better than limping on like this. I wonder who it could be. I, Jupiter, have come to manage the affairs of mortal men. It's me. When chaos reigns, when the very self is divided, who but the gods can create harmony? For their crimes, Brutus and Cassius will suffer the torments of Tartarus, and Rome will rise from the bloodshed to enter a new and glorious age, to exist with its neighbors in friendship most prosperous. This drama is at an end, but the true drama goes on. Will you play your part in it, as I have played mine? Go forward, and may we meet again. Farewell. Well, that was quite the turn up, wasn't it? Yes, the ending certainly gave me a lot to chew over. Hey. Here she is, the woman of the hour. It's all right, you don't have to say anything. Especially, oh, you've done it again, because then I know you didn't like it. Octavia, I hate to say it, but I thought it was very successful. What, really? I I mean, yes, well, some minor rap lips here and there, but on the whole, really? (laughs) You are too modest. Your Majesty. I found the whole thing most um, instructive. A Caesar, a new and glorious age. Friendship most prosperous. After all, what is art but a reflection of life? I quite agree. Perhaps we could talk at greater length. I should like that very much. You mean you really all thought it was good, despite everything? Jupiter descending from on high to condemn those dreadful men. Very stirring. And so nice for your brother not to be the butt of the joke for once. Brother! (laughs) Now, don't stay out too late, will you? I know how your after-parties get. (laughs) Yes, Mother. Oh, uh, actually, there was one more thing. Uh, That actress playing God at the end. Mia. Yes. Where might I have seen her before? Incredible work, everyone. Oh, I don't know how we survived it. Oh, that applause. They loved us. How are we doing for tomorrow? Sold out. And looks like we'll break even by the end of the week. You know what this means. Profit. <laughs> Mia, come and join. I'm sorry, I can't. I've got to go. Oh, no, come on. We couldn't have done it without you. We nearly couldn't do it with you. <laughs> And there's an age-old theatrical tradition that after a successful performance, everybody goes out to get rat assed I'm sorry? Drunk, Mia. Uh, I'd love to, but some other time, perhaps. Oh, Oh, Octavia. I'm so, so sorry about, you know, the the, the whole thing, and it it won't happen again. I I wanted to say... Mia, stop. You were amazing. Me? Yes. Oh, well, so are you. (laughs) Well, thanks. All right, you two. Cut it out. Or at least wait till we get to the pub. What do you mean? Oh, you know what I mean. Chance would be a fine thing. Shut up. Don't listen to him, Mia. He's always... Hey, Mia? Where does she go? (sighs) 
My lady, my lady, thank goodness I found you. Ah, Charmia. A thousand apologies. I retrieved your papers, but they wouldn't let me back into the theater, and I was searching for another way. Which you failed to do, I take it. Yes, exactly. For which, again, I must apologize another thousand times. Charmian, please. I think I've seen enough acting for one day. Although you are, admittedly, very good at it, Mia. I can explain. I do hope so. How did you know? You may pull the wool over the eyes of a Roman, but never over mine. I just had to ask Octavia about the newest member of her company. Octavia? Don't worry, your cover is safe. She doesn't know a thing. And the risks you took appear to have paid off. Oh, uh, did they? To exist with its neighbors in friendship most prosperous. The young Caesar appears greatly inspired by your performance. Negotiations may succeed, after all. Ah, good. So, you're not mad? Oh, I wouldn't say that. But one may take a uh, a balanced view. Come, Charmian. You and I have much to talk about. Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The series is created by David K. Barnes and directed by Amani Zardoz. This episode was written by Rafaela Marcus. It was edited by Nico Vitese, Lori Ann Davis, Meg Michela, and Catherine Rinella with scoring by Sam Jones. Today's episode features Harry Roebuck, Lara Sawalha, Sarah Lambie, Ellie Dickens, Benjamin Garrison, and Sarah Aga. Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later is produced by Natalie Winter, Catherine Lindemann, and production manager Natasha Johnston, with executive producers Alexander J. Newell and April Sumner. To subscribe, view associated materials, or join our Patreon, visit RustyQuill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at The Rusty Quill. Visit us on Facebook or email us at mail at RustyQuill.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>